twice as Nayan and Sana sent shockwaves through their fan base with a moment that has quickly become iconic, an unexpected onstage kiss during their latest fan meeting. Known for their incredibly close bond, the TWICE members have always shown their affection for each other, but this surprise went above and beyond, turning heads and melting hearts both on and offline. Celebrating their ninth anniversary this year, TWICE recently hosted 2024 TWICE Fan Meeting, Home 9 Round, a special event dedicated to honoring their journey with fans. This event was packed with fun games, emotional moments, new music previews, and announcements that made it a day to remember. From the moment TWICE took the stage, their excitement and love for their fans were on full display, reminding everyone of the special relationship they share. The fan meeting was the perfect mix of nostalgia and new surprises, with each member expressing gratitude for the love they've received throughout the years. As the event went on, TWICE took the opportunity to tease their upcoming album with the release of a brand new song, Sweet Obsession. But what really stole the spotlight was a spontaneous and unforgettable moment between Nayan and Sana. Known for their playful friendship, Nayan and Sana kept the audience entertained with their usual adorable antics. However, things took a surprising turn during a playful onstage segment when the two idols leaned into each other, making hand hearts and exchanging giggles. Fans thought it would end there, but Nayan took things up a notch by leaning in as if to mimic a kiss, only this time, they actually connected lips. The entire venue erupted in surprise, and fans weren't the only ones who were caught off guard. Video footage captured the reactions of the TWICE members, who seemed just as shocked by the unplanned kiss as everyone else. The look of surprise on their faces quickly turned into laughter, creating a warm, light-hearted moment that will undoubtedly go down in TWICE fan meeting history. Clips of the iconic moment spread like wildfire across social media, amassing hundreds of thousands of views as fans shared their reactions to this sweet and unexpected display of affection. Online, fans could hardly contain their excitement, flooding Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram with comments and memes celebrating the kiss heard around the fandom. Some fans playfully dubbed the moment as Nayan and Santa's love confession and praised the members for their playful, genuine chemistry. Others pointed out that moments like these reflect the close-knit relationship among TWICE members, who have built a sisterly bond over nearly a decade of shared experiences, both on and off the stage. Many noted that it's the members' authentic friendship and warmth that keep fans coming back year after year. Beyond this viral moment, TWICE also revealed exciting details about their upcoming album, sparking further anticipation. After premiering Sweet Obsession at the fan meeting, the group announced that the new album will include even more tracks that capture TWICE's signature blend of catchy hooks and heartfelt lyrics. Fans are eager to see what the group has in store, especially as they continue to explore new themes and sounds with each release. Whether you're here for their music or for iconic, unforgettable moments like this one, TWICE's fan meeting has proven once again why the group holds such a special place in fans' hearts. This anniversary celebration brought together everything that makes TWICE unique, their boundless energy, their love for their fans, and their undeniable closeness. Following TWICE's thrilling remix with Megan The Stallion on Mamushi, Onces are buzzing with excitement and intrigue, convinced that the girl group might be gearing up for yet another collaboration, this time with American singer and actress Sabrina Carpenter. Sabrina has been a long-time supporter of TWICE, showing her admiration through various interactions, including covering their catchy hit song Candy Pop. She even presented the group with the prestigious Breakthrough Award at the 2023 Billboard Women in Music Awards, further solidifying her connection with the K-pop sensation. The latest wave of speculation kicked off when TWICE changed their profile picture across various social media platforms. Observant fans quickly noted that the C in the new profile image looks slightly altered compared to the other letters, prompting theories that it could be a clever hint at an upcoming collaboration, perhaps with Sabrina herself or even a solo project from Young. Compounding this intrigue, Sabrina recently followed TWICE on Instagram, and her subsequent posts included several Instagram stories that piqued fan interest. Notably, one story featured the word TWICE, while others, despite lacking audio, still captured fans' imaginations and hopes for a collaboration. Adding to the excitement, Nayan recently spoke about Sabrina during a fan meeting, claiming her comments weren't a spoiler, which only fueled speculation among onces. Shortly thereafter, Jihyo and Nayan shared a fun video using Sabrina's catchy track Bed Chem, attempting to tag her account on X, formerly Twitter. While the tag didn't connect properly, Sabrina wasted no time reposting the clip on her TikTok account, demonstrating her enthusiasm for the girls and further hinting that she's engaged with the TWICE fandom but this isn't the first time TWICE and Sabrina have crossed paths. Back in May, Sana and Young delighted fans with a video dancing to Sabrina's upbeat track Espresso, which she also shared on TikTok, showcasing her excitement for the group. The synergy between TWICE's recent dance challenge for Mamushi and their playful interactions with Sabrina has made fans increasingly hopeful that a collaboration is on the horizon.
Adding to the buzz, fans have also noticed how often Twice references Western artists in their music and performances. This has led to speculation that they are intentionally broadening their musical reach and experimenting with new sounds, which makes a collaboration with a talented artist like Sabrina Carpenter even more plausible. The excitement is palpable, with fans around the world rallying for any news confirming this potential collaboration. Social media platforms are awash with theories about what a Twice X Sabrina Carpenter collaboration could entail, from a vibrant pop anthem to a captivating ballad that highlights both artists' strengths. The blend of Twice's infectious energy and Sabrina's vocal prowess has many envisioning a hit that could dominate charts worldwide. As the anticipation builds, fans are eagerly awaiting any official announcements. Will we see Twice and Sabrina Carpenter join forces for a new hit? Or are they simply keeping fans engaged with these fun exchanges? Whatever the case, the energy surrounding this possible collaboration is undeniable. So, what do you think? Could this be the next big thing in K-pop? Are you excited about the potential for a Twice and Sabrina Carpenter collaboration? Blackpink's Lisa has once again found herself at the center of an online firestorm after newly leaked Hybe internal documents revealed pointed criticism of her 2023 performance at the Crazy Horse Cabaret in Paris. Although many fans had initially celebrated the show as a bold artistic move, the performance stirred controversy for its provocative burlesque elements, which clashed with the typically polished and mainstream image that Blackpink has cultivated over the years. On November 1, a fresh set of internal Hybe reports surfaced, diving deeper into concerns surrounding Lisa's Crazy Horse show and how her participation might impact the public perception of Blackpink. The documents claim that while Lisa may have intended to challenge societal norms around nudity and express herself in an empowering way, her choice of a burlesque venue was seen as naive and potentially detrimental to the group's image. The leaked report hinted that, in Hybe's view, her performance in an environment synonymous with adult entertainment might overshadow any artistic intentions, especially given Blackpink's widespread influence among young audiences. The report went on to discuss how Lisa's decision had not only sparked discussions on feminism and gender but also raised questions about Blackpink's approach to social issues in general. According to the document, Blackpink has traditionally refrained from integrating themes of gender empowerment or social advocacy into their music or public image, focusing instead on producing music and content with broad mainstream appeal. As a result, Hybe speculated that this lack of alignment with the group's established brand might have fueled the criticism surrounding Lisa's performance, with some fans and industry insiders questioning whether the Crazy Horse show represented a significant departure from Blackpink's usual identity. The report also commented on the potential impact of other Blackpink members attending the show, suggesting that their presence added another layer of visibility to the performance, perhaps unintentionally amplifying the controversy. Hybe's critique appeared to frame Blackpink as a group that, until now, has not publicly addressed feminist or gender-related issues and has generally kept a low profile regarding their personal lives. The report further implied that Lisa's foray into a more provocative performance space might have had unintended consequences for the group's image as a whole, noting that Blackpink's branding has largely centered on their music and international appeal rather than social or political statements. This new wave of scrutiny arrives in the wake of previous leaks from Hybe's internal communications, which allegedly contain similarly critical observations about Blackpink's activities. Fans are divided, with some rallying around Lisa in defense of her artistic freedom, while others are discussing the broader implications of the group's public image and how internal pressures from industry giants like Hybe might influence artists' personal choices. On social media, blinks and netizens alike are debating whether Lisa's performance should be celebrated as a boundary-pushing artistic statement or if it indeed posed risks to the Blackpink brand. The leak has ignited larger conversations about the pressures female K-pop idols face when balancing artistic expression with maintaining a curated public persona, especially within the heavily scrutinized K-pop industry. Many fans view the internal critique as reflective of ongoing gender biases, suggesting that Lisa's performance may have been held to a different standard than male idols' ventures into edgier concepts or artistic experimentation. As the situation continues to unfold, fans are eagerly awaiting any statements or responses from Lisa, Blackpink's agency, or Hybe. In the meantime, the controversy has only intensified public curiosity around Blackpink's future projects and how they might navigate the intersection of personal expression and professional image going forward. For now, Lisa remains at the forefront of a debate that speaks to the challenges of artistry, branding, and individuality in one of the world's most competitive music industries. For more updates and ongoing coverage on this and other K-pop industry news, be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for all the latest developments.